you still need me? Or will you still feed me when I'm a broke ass fucking photographer? <laughs> Ooh, big mistake. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Killed my father. Big mistake. Okay, I'm gonna start the. Get ready, yo.
Look at, oh, really pushing it here. Pushing it tall, Joe. It's told me. You better watch it, boy. You better watch it. Going to get started very soon. Also soon. So much soon that it must be now. How soon is now? Ah. fan aimed at me properly? That's a good question. Oh yeah, I'm getting hit. Oh, that's a good stuff. I only trust the, the biggest name in portable fans. Opalar. <whistles> Cool you off in a jiffy. Fooling off. Fooling off. Let's check. Gotta check if redemptions are working. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Doing well. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's working. Overtime. Overtime. As I roll my sleeves up, I like to whistle. I'd say. I'd say. Fly away. Whoop. 
Alright. Okay. Fucking gets tonight. Hot map, for sure. But that's not the degrees in Celsius. Wagon wheel with two C. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Hello, all. Welcome to the dark room. I am Paul Mosley Hinton, the dude in the dark room, and it is Wednesday, July 27th. Just about 7.50 p.m. here in oh, California. Sabro, welcome. Uh, and tonight we're going to be kicking off our third session of How to Marry a Photographer in Stardew Valley. Um, this is uh, How to Marry a Photographer, a session three, the Leibovitz Chronicles, because we are going to be playing as, or at least we're going to name our character, uh, either Leibovitz or Annie. I don't know if I can fit a full name or a Leibovitz or something because um, that is going to be our, our character that we play with. Um, and we're going to go about st our strategy a little bit different than we have been doing it. I'm going to kind of play in a different method just to test it out. I don't believe it's going to be any better. I, I, I anticipate a worse uh, final, final time, but uh, you know what? That's what we're going to do is we're going to experiment and see. I could be completely wrong. Um, I honestly felt in, in our, in our session two, uh, where we did, uh, the previous session where we did beat our high score. Um, I did think we were going to be a lot better, uh, in, in terms of the time, uh, spent. And I thought we were definitely going to like, just like demolish our first, our first playthrough record, but that actually ended up not being the case. Uh, and we only broke the record by uh, 30 minutes of real playtime. We didn't best our in-game date time, which is one way to look at it. But then we also uh, beat our uh, real time played by only like 30 minutes. And we're going to look at that in a second. Um, so I don't know. Maybe my strategy ain't all that I, I thought it was. You know, we'll see. Um, so we're going to do this, keep doing it, keep testing out different methods. Um, but uh, instead of going the foraging route which is what we've been doing i'm gonna try to focus completely on mining uh and making a lot of money that way as opposed to foraging which has been our like main uh main profession that we've been upgrading so i'm gonna focus mainly on mining we're gonna use the mountain farm do as much mining as possible uh, and see what kind of difference that makes uh instead of focusing on foraging as we have been doing. And there have been good reasons why we've been focusing on foraging. Um, but I don't, uh, I don't know how, how much better or worse this is going to be, you know, in all honesty, I thought, like I said, that second playthrough, which we'll see in a second, only a, only a little bit faster. And that's only in terms of the real time played. So, um, I want to see like a couple weeks knocked off the in-game date plus some real-time uh, improvement, but we'll see. It could be worse in both ways. I don't know. Um, either way, it's going to be really fun doing it. I love playing this game. Uh, these speed 
runs are, are actually very fun to accomplish. I love starting new farms. I actually just like starting new game files in general in most games, starting new characters. Um, so anytime we start a new session, uh, How to Marry a Photographer, it's always a really fun opportunity to toy around. Um, hope everybody's having a great evening. Um, and I hope you're ready to have some fun, uh, sit back, relax, and watch some gaming. I definitely highly encourage you to play some games yourself. Um, if you haven't had the best day in the world, take a second, take a deep breath, relax a little bit. Um, no matter what you're going through, you can always find that relaxed place inside, no matter what's happening in your life. It's an internal feeling, you know, apart from the external sources uh, influencing us. You have to find that internal relaxation. I definitely highly, highly encourage doing that, especially right now, um, especially if you're playing some games. Uh, so without further ado, actually, wait, 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 let's do this. If you want to watch, we have had two, again, two seasons or two sessions um, of the How to Marry a Photographer uh, series. Uh, and all of them should be on YouTube. Pretty sure, pretty sure I have everything uploaded for the first two complete sessions, uh, the first two complete playthroughs. Forgive me if there's like one missing. I'm pretty sure I have them all up on there, but I'll double check. Uh, and that is also where you will find the overall video that we're actually working on whenever we do uh, one of these playthroughs, which is photography in said media. So in this case, it's photography in Stardew Valley. Uh, which is fairly limited in this game, but I have a few things I, I could say about it um, and uh, a few interesting points uh, that I think I could, I could, I could point out. Um, so that will all end up on YouTube eventually. Um, also, we have a pretty sweet Discord community. Uh, whoops. Dis, disockered. Desockered? I consider myself desockered because I used to play soccer and then I had health issues and I couldn't play. So I kind of got desockered. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's jump right in and get started because it's going to be uh, a little while preparing our character and all that good stuff and jumping in. I want to get a few days played before we wrap things up around 10 p.m. So um, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I did build finally a Stardew Valley specific scene here um oh. uh although it wasn't much different than my standard ps5 theme or scene uh because it's it's basically the same as is where i where i want everything uh, uh when we're playing fallout which is usually what we're doing on on the ps 5 -er. um okay my controller Oh, I need a sip of water. It is real hot. Oh, milk was a bad choice. Okay. So, we'll go in. Like I said, we did two. We have had two sessions so far. Uh, our first being our Galen Rowell playthrough uh, on the mountain. It would have been Mountain Light Farm, but he can't fit it, so it's Mountain Light Farm. Um, and we accomplished our marriage goal on the 17th of summer, first year with 14 hours, 42 minutes of playtime, and 17,700 gold. These are the metrics that I'm looking at um, in terms of scoring. So the first, first, first thing that would trump everything in my opinion, although this could probably be debated whether it's the real time or the in-game date time, um, but I'm mainly looking at this date, the in-game date. I, that's what I want to best. That's my personal goal. Um, and then if that is... Uh, tied as it was surprisingly enough uh, if that ends up being tied then the next thing I'm going to look at is real time played uh, which we did best um, our real time played or I'm sorry I think I went backwards here um, I think our first farm was Ansel's farm good light farm uh, and that was 15 hours uh, 12 minutes again 17th day of summer and then we bested it with Galen's farm and we made it to 1442, so a 30-minute improvement, if I'm not being an idiot and misreading that, that clock. Um, and then the third metric, if this was exactly tied, which I... That would really blow my mind if we had a, a complete tie between the real-time played and the 
uh, in-game date time. Then the third metric we're going to look at is gold uh, in that order. So time, time, uh, time in the game, date in the game. First, first and most important uh, criteria to best. Um, and then second, real time played. And third, money. Uh, but we don't want any of these guys. What are we doing? We want to go to a new... We want a new fucking farm here. Uh, we're, we're, like I said, we're going to play as uh, any Leibovitz. I think I'm just going to call her Leibovitz. I, th I think that's if it fits. If Leibovitz fits, you must play as it. And am I being an idiot? And, oh, I had, I had Leibovitz's book right here, too, that I meant to show off, but whatever. L E I, you doofus. Right? Yeah. God. There, that's the. I, I have a very, very, very hard time with those kind of things. Like, an, I mean, I know. Uh, I before E except after C, whatever, but that with names, that kind of goes out the window, doesn't it? Unless it doesn't, does it not? Um, this, is, this, this is session three of the Leibovitz Chronicles, okay? F, triple check, L E I. Bove, bovine, T Z. Bovi, T Z, yes. If I spelled it wrong, O. Shucks. Uh, and the farm is going to be called Rolling Stone Farm, if I can fit it. Ooh, please give me the E. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. And the reason I'm calling this Rolling... Wait. Rolling... Okay, whew. Uh, it could be called Rolling Stone as well, but I'd still have to put the little apostrophe. Um... The reason I'm calling it Rolling Stone Farm is for two reasons. One, Annie Leibovitz first. This is this is this was the the the, the tale I was told in photo class, um, and I was always very inspired by this story. Um, Annie Leibovitz went to Rolling Stone's office with a portfolio. Just showed up. I'd love to hear. Andy Leibovitz tell a story as well. I have not heard it from uh, the mouth of uh, the party involved. So this is kind of third party information. But uh, she went in with her portfolio. She just said, I want to shoot for you. Here's here's my portfolio. Uh, and she had great work. And they gave, I think the story is that she got an assignment like that day or she was assigned something uh, very quickly after. Um, and that was always a very inspiring storyline. Uh, just knowing, knowing, knowing that she wanted to shoot for uh, Rolling Stone, that that was the kind of photography she wanted to do, and just going for it. You know, it, that's a very inspiring thing. Um, and so, anyway, Rolling Stone Farm, very fitting for that reason. And then also, we are we're gonna go with the Hilltop Farm. Uh, because we can we can get to some mining a little bit quicker than we could otherwise, and we're gonna focus again on mining to make us a lot of a lot of cash. Uh, and that's obviously uh, it makes a lot of sense. Rolling stone, we're gonna be we're gonna be cracking some stone. And our favorite thing, obviously, is photography. Maybe this will be the first time that we get, if I get to the bottom of the mines, which I don't think that's going to happen. We well, Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but if we focus on uh, uh, on the mines, maybe I can get down to the bottom and get our first star drop I think we've ever received on this, um, on this game. I don't think during either of the sessions, I'd like to say that we didn't... Uh, we did not receive any star drops. I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, obviously, always a cat. Sorry, it's always gonna be a cat. Just how it is with your boy. Your boy, Paul. Um, and I'm not gonna spend too much time making this person look anything like Annie Leibovitz, but I am gonna make her hair gray. That's, that's what I'm freaking doing. Oh, his eye color. 
Oops, that's fine. Hair color. Just want it grayed out, kinda. Uh, eh, eh, I don't know what color Annie Leibovitz's eyes are. It doesn't matter. Um, and then shirts and such. I don't know what shirt I. Had. It's, <laughs> I'm just gonna do the skull and crossbones shirts because that's fun. Pants? Alright, well, I'm just going standard pants. Uh, no, I don't want any accessories. Wait. Wait, what's what's accessory one? Is accessory one nothing? Skin? It's, a, it's about the excitement of being inside someone's skin. Uh, we are going to skip the intro, and that's... I don't need to fuck around with any of this. So this, this is all... <laughs> whatever. Uh, plus, if we really wanted to, there are ways to change our appearance later, so why waste the time now? Hilltop Farm. Okay, I think we're good. We got the Hilltop Farm selected. We're skipping the intro. We got Leibovitz's name, and the Rolling Stone Farm photography is our favorite thing. Um, we did the Beach Farm first. I'm just thinking about how different each one of these things has been. Uh, the beach farm we did first, and then we did the forest farm second, right? Or did we do standard? I gotta look that up. Um, we also might try, maybe, 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 he, I might try a playthrough where we kind of focus on fishing, but that is, that's so time consuming because as you're fishing, time freezes in the game. Um, which just extends the time that you take each day, which might be kind of frustrating. It just might mean a very prolonged session, whereas mining, we're just we're still in real time. But I don't know. I'll think about that shit later. Okay, uh, we're good. We're good. Let's just get it going. I want to get to those. I want to break some rocks, dude. Um, I think I guess I will pack. I will plant the parsnips. I think that's not a bad idea. Um. We want a little bit of farming done. Uh, only because if we get to summer, we do want, we do want, um, uh, we want to be able to plant and harvest as many sunflowers as possible. That is the, the way, the way of things as soon as we get into summer. Um, so much, so much has to, goes into just the luck of the draw with doing this fast, though, because I think on any of my other playthroughs, um, on any of my other playthroughs, uh, I could have done it a lot faster had we the luck of, of coming across some more loved gifts um, from the people that sell them. Uh, i.e. the cart or Gus, which we are still going to check. Those are two things we're still going to check. Um, the daily the daily quota to meet uh, is talking to Haley at least once for the, the quota, for I guess for the week. Let's just say for the week. That's an easier way to explain it. We, ha we have to talk to Haley every day. That increases our relationship. Um, we want to gift her two gifts every week. Um, which we always wait until Friday to give the first gift because that'll give us the most amount of time. Um, where's my girl? Where's my girl? There she is. Um, that'll give us the most amount of time to retrieve a loved gift from either of those sources. We have the, fri the chance to get one on Friday at the cart, and then we have the chance to get... Um, to get one at Gus's stock every day, there's a chance that that, she, that he might end up with one of those loved gifts, the food items, which is going to be from him, pink cake or um, uh, fruit salad. And from the cart, we can get coconuts, sunflowers, I think, or any of those food items, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure if my doofus, does, does she even sell, the cart lady, does she even sell um uh, food items? I think, I think so, right? Uh, 
so I don't really want to waste much of my energy chopping down these trees. Even though foraging and, and creating those, building those field snacks is a very good way uh, to replenish our energy on the regular. Um, I'll tell you what, I do want to cut down at least enough trees to get the wood to create one um, uh, one uh, one chest or one bin. What do they call it? Is it a chest or is it a bin? It is a chest. Of course it's a chest. Who the hell do you think designed this game? Somebody who likes bins? You wouldn't want to wouldn't want to put your loot in a bin, you know? Um, so what, do I have to chop down one more tree then, I think, to get... I just don't want to use too much of my energy. I want to focus on all my energy for cracking open all those rocks, dude. That's like the... That's what we're really going for. Uh, the bummer is that, yeah, if we're not foraging, we are not going to come across anywhere near as much... Uh, food items that we can utilize for replenishing our, our energy. Only because we would focus on uh, making field snacks, chopping down trees, making field snacks, chopping down more trees, which gets us more seeds uh, to make more field snacks. Uh, and we're not going to do that because we're going to focus all of our attention, or at least the majority of our attention, uh, on mining. Maybe, is it a mistake to do the Whoops, don't waste your energy swinging the hoe, bro. Ugh. Already fucking things up, man. Already. No, I don't think anything's really fucked up. I think we're good. I would think we are pretty good to getting started. Yep, we're going to harvest and... We're going to plant and harvest the, the parsnips. I don't know if this is, it's actually, this is a very good, it's a very good question whether or not it's going to be uh, a waste of energy to do the first parsnips, but we'll see. Um, okay, so what do we want to save on us? We want to save pretty much none of this. Try to keep my, try to keep my inventory as barren as possible until we get that next uh, upgraded um, backpack if we get to that. Obviously, I think on a mining playthrough like this, the backpack is going to come in handy a lot more than the foraging. Uh, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's kind of annoying that bridge is blocked off, isn't it? And again, I try I'm going to try my best to only focus on mining, energy use for mining. Um, but we will also, so, uh, we're going to also go to, we're going to go forage a little bit in the forest. We got to check for spring onion, of course. Uh, probably be a good source of energy replenishment for a little while. So I'll, I'll see, I'll, I'll top, I'll like utilize as much energy as I can here, breaking the rocks. Uh, I should definitely clear a path to uh, our little uh, mountain farming area or our mountain uh, mining area over here. Which honestly, I probably should I probably should focus on clearing this stuff first. Ooh, rusty spur. Also gonna try and. Uh, Donate as many as many artifacts as we can, maybe on this playthrough. I think I wasn't avoiding that on the last playthrough or anything. Oof. And maybe I'll upgrade geode already. Um, okay, so that's all good. I think we did some good good amount of clearing on the farm for the first day. Um, I just want to keep a little bit of my energy on hand until we can get some energy replenishment stuffs. 
which if we go down we're gonna go down to cinder sap hopefully catch our girl Haley uh, Taking some pictures. I think she's taking pictures today. I, I I am I am more than willing to use the cheat sheet uh, to do this. By the way, um, meaning I will I will happily look at uh, schedules. Anybody's schedule that I need to see, uh, which is mostly going to be Haley because she's, she's the only person in this town we care about because she's the only photographer. She's the only person. Who, who dedicates themselves to things that matter, you know? A lot of people would say the doctor might also be a good candidate for that kind of thing, but I just disagree, man. Ooh, yeah, my uh, energy's super low. I'm just going to plant this last little... Do I have enough energy for the watering can? Yeah, yeah, okay. It didn't say... Did it say I'm starting to get tired? I think it did. I should, I should really be careful. Keep the scythe on me. Actually, you know what? Let's go through town. We'll go through town first. Where's my Haley cheat sheet? Hang on. Stardew Mike Vallelli. Uh, on a Monday in springtime. Yes, yeah, you, sh you should be taking pictures for another couple hours. Um, although I don't know if we're going to see her. Oh, dude, already. So here's, here's one of the reasons that I think it was, it's kind of a mistake to, uh, do I have enough energy for this? Okay. Starting to feel exhausted. Okay. So now I can only hit like three more times, uh, before I completely lose cohesion. This. Haley's birthday is on the 14th. Very important. And one reason that it's so fun making her the first person you try to marry is because she should, should be so easy to marry. Although we've also basically decided that Shane is the easiest. Shane should be the easiest, even though he's kind of a, a, an asshole to begin with. He should be the easiest because he has loved gifts that, that are purchasable immediately. Nothing on the help wanted today. Uh, we also have to check the trash cans every day. That's a very important thing. Look, field snack right there, ready to go. Let's check Gus's stock and say hi to him real quick. Well, hello there. Shut your cackle. Give me something good. Rice pudding. Okay, no. Nothing, nothing there. But here, I mean, Shane loves pizza and beer. And he, you can buy these any day from Gus. So that has to be the easiest thing. Must, must, must be, in my opinion. Um, and I did get uh, one daffodil, which is great, because that means we have, um, uh, we have something to give Haley. At least the first gift this week is okay. If we can't find a love gift, we are going to give daffodils. Uh, although I think I might, I'm, if I'm mining, I think there might be like one other option maybe. I also might be able to get the mine carts repaired if we do this this way. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Um, what's up, Abigail? My name is Paul. Well, right now it's Annie, but for the most part. What's up, Penny? Check the mayor's trash can. I already checked the trash can. I already checked the trash can. Check, can't check the trash can any further. I'm Maru. Better be the Kobayashi type. Ah, don't call me Granny. I'm not even gonna call you anything because I don't like you. Okay. Uh, Haley's probably walking. She's either home already or she's walking home. Time to see. There she is. What's up, Haley? Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever. Yeah, I'm the whatever. Aren't you? Yep. I'm Haley. If I weren't for those horrendous clothes, <laughs> you might actually be pretty. <laughs> ah, you laugh it, laugh it up. Laugh it up, Haley. I don't like you. But I'm going to marry you anyway. If you change that attitude... Uh, okay, so do I want to go dump? That's actually not 
I'd rather go check for spring onions. Oh, although this is a mistake, chopping that stuff. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's go dump. Let's go dump. Dump and check for spring onion, I think, is the next thing on the docket. And then with whatever time we have left when we get back to the farm, um, I will break as many more rocks as I can here. And I think it's going to be a good idea. Oh, it's so annoying. You can't get, get across these bridges until you upgrade the tools. Yeah, see, that's, that's one, one good reason to clear all this, actually, is just to speed up um, our time walking through just the farm area, which is this. It's going to be annoying to have to deal with that. Um, I'm going to save one of each type of forageable for now. Plant that tomorrow. Um, field snack we'll grab when we get back home and eat it, probably. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nice breaking up all these rocks and getting all that shit out of the way so I can just make a beeline. Gunther. I already got something for Gunther. Okay, I'll go check for spring onion. Maybe we'll do the cinder sap circle. Cinder sap circuit. Uh, check for any forageables. Um, so, wait, I was saying, I was saying, and I got distracted, but... Uh, one reason I don't think foraging is, is that important. I thought it was very important because the higher our foraging skill, um, the more likely we get a higher end, uh, daffodil that we pick up off the ground. And seeing as it is very difficult to acquire a loved gift, uh, or at least it's very random if we do or do not uh, acquire a loved gift. Um, I knew having a high quality loved gift or liked gift, uh, would come in handy. And so the higher our foraging skill, the more likely we get the higher end item, uh, the closer we get to marrying Haley each gift that we give. But I didn't, despite learning or despite leveling up my foraging skill, I think I forget where we had it, but I, I, I think I'd gotten it up to eight, seven or eight at the end of the last session uh, correct me if i'm wrong but e as high as our level was i was still having trouble getting uh or, or uh, uh foraging a higher quality uh daffodil and i think a lot of the ones that we ended up giving Haley were just either standard quality or silver at best um and then it kind of so it felt kind of pointless, like having all that foraging skill. And then the second thing we're trying to do with foraging skill is get that uh, multiple berry harvest once salmon berry season comes up. Because salmon berries are such a great resource uh, for replenishing energy. But uh, then I ended up not even using anywhere near all of the salmon berries that we gathered. So it's like, what is that double salmon berry harvest? really doing for us i don't know how 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 important it is okay let's go back to the farm um i do really want to clear our mining area first up there because um okay let's check the daily uh uh checklist before i go any further though we talked to Haley. done we checked the trash cans done we don't have to gift Haley today. We checked Gus's stock. We cannot check the cart today. Um, so I think we are good. So I'm going to use all of this forageable stuff that we got to replenish our energy and crack as many of these guys as we can now. Although I think let's go with the sh shorter... The shorter ones, I mean the easier to crack open ones. I'm gonna save one of these dandelions. Um, oh shit, maybe I don't wanna take too much energy. 
replenishment. I do want to be in bed by midnight as well. That was pretty perfect though. I think that was a good, in terms of utilizing all of our energy for the day, I think that was, that was a pretty good, that was pretty well handled. God, at night, it's actually kind of hard to see the screen with my, with my light. Although it's a lot better than it was uh, previously with my smaller light. I have my nice bigger studio light, which is a little easier to have in my eye line. Okay, 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 okay. Um, again, checklist for the day. Let's also light this fireplace, duh. It's gonna rain tomorrow, clear day tomorrow. What was the fortune today? Very displeased. Well, we got some spring onion anyway, so. Go fuck yourself, spirits. This one's for all you greenhorns. Chop wood. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know all about that. Um, yeah, let's fucking sleep. Right? Yeah. Level one mining. Dude, already. That's great. That's great. Uh, again, focusing on that is going to be key. Raining all day tomorrow. That's nice. Spirits are very displeased. Okay. Well, not too bad. Okay, Clint, you're great, buddy. I, I, I love you very much. You're great. I uh, just got back from a fishing trip. Willie wants to see me. Willie ain't going to see me right now, but maybe we'll go check him out at some point. Maybe. Okay. So we're going to take all of that foraging food items that we can and re-energize herself as we, um, can I plant these other, no, we should plant these guys too. Um, as we clear that mining area, we can't get to the real mines until, I forget what day it is, we can't get to them yet. Okay, so I'll replenish my energy with this. Again, I wanna save one of all of these just to keep them around in case, especially the day of daffodils, obviously, but um, in case somebody on the billboard, especially if Haley asks on the billboard for something, she might ask for a leek. She might ask for a dandelion. She might ask for a horseradish. And I want to have those on hand. It also, I think we decided it's good to grow at least one of each crop for the season. So maybe I'll go... Um, buy that in a second. How do I make a furnace? Copper and stone. We'll get the stone, but we need more copper. Uh, not digging up any of those seeds. I know I do really want uh, field snacks, but I don't want to waste my energy, too much of my energy on foraging, you know? So There's probably a good balance in there in terms of um, maybe foraging a little bit and getting a little bit of uh, foraging skill. At least till we get. Um, at least till we get. Uh, I think it's only in level one that you get the field snack uh, recipe or crafting. Consider a recipe if it's crafted, but I mean it's a recipe for sure. But it, it, you don't cook it. Is here's the point. I'm mean, trying to make. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have that copper ore for the furnace in no time. And I think we can finish clearing this whole space today, which is great, because these each one of these spaces here won't repopulate. Unless they're clear, obviously. So getting these cleared gives us the most opportunity uh, for each one of these little cells to repopulate, or at least that's my theory. I think on my first farm, I did this 
this farm, the mountaintop farm. Uh, and uh, I think it's a barn. I think I just put a barn there. Because at a certain point, the extra mining that you can do is kind of irrelevant. Uh, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's something special you can get there that you can't get anywhere else that I just don't know about. Maybe I'll do some research. Maybe not. see a sweaty man play Stardew. <laughs> yeah. And boy, am I getting sweaty. Okay, cracking rocks. Also, I think we should save all these on-site rocks for uh, later. Because same thing with the trees that we were trying to save on our farm. Um... It's, be it's better to have those there, so if we get back to our farm at like 11 p.m., we have an hour to kill and a little bit more energy, then I can use that time breaking up those rocks uh, on the farm and be closer to our door when we're ready to hit the hay. Um, okay, it's also, can we craft that furnace? We might as well craft that furnace. What else do we need? We need this and this. Wow. Coincidentally enough, we got the same exact amount uh, necessary in terms of copper to build this sucker. Nice, and I think, do you get a little cash for this? Smelt some copper bars. Yeah, we'll do that at some point. Um, let's have our furnaces be like right here. I'll like line them up. I'm gonna uh, try to focus on um, copper bars and such for money. I think that's like the best option could be wrong let's grab one more one more of those um and then what do we want to do is Haley's gonna be at the fountain we'll go check out the fountain a minute let's go run through cinder sap i think I think is a good idea. I heard that copper bar come up, but we don't need that right now. Just so it's ready to go. For me, it was the second day of our third session in How to Marry a Photographer. But for the game, it was a Tuesday. Ooh, horseradish. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll check for spring onion. Maybe crack a couple rocks while we're up over here. Utilizing our energy replenishment sources. And I am gaining a little bit of foraging skill just from picking this stuff up off the ground, so. Despite, ooh, does that mean I actually got to level two foraging? I think as soon as you start getting the seeds off the trees, you're technically, yeah, okay, so I got to level two foraging. That's good to know. Um, so instead of cutting the trees down, I am gonna try to, I, I will try to get, um, seeds from them at the very least, although that's kind of time consuming. That's not something I'm going to focus on unless we have extra, extra time on our hands. actually get into the mine it's kind of going to be frustrating it's, it's one going to be frustrating not having energy replenishment and then two going to be frustrating not having um, uh, backpack dude we need that extra backpack space 
I guess, you know, the bonus of not cutting down all the trees is uh, we have more chances to shake them and get more field snack seeds, maybe. I'm trying to look at the bright side. I, d I, don't, I don't like passing up all these trees, man. It's like I'm so tied to my ways, to my old ways. wood man well I would probably have to cut down some trees for uh, for the wood so if we start crafting anything else okay did I crack all the rocks out here I thought I, I had a few more but I also really was not counting Damn it, dude. Does that not dig it up? As ah, a bummer. Whatever. Um, I guess maybe I have to level up first before these will... Yeah, I guess so. Oof, what a waste. Both of energy and of seed. That's ah, fine. Okay, so we can use that horseradish at some point. Let's just drop this stuff off now. Although I can eat one now as well because I do want to plant these suckers. Like to plant them. Oh shit, now I need water too. It's the bad thing about this farm is that the water is so far. So I gotta waste a lot of time. Ooh, and we gotta get we gotta go get to Haley, dude. I don't wanna miss talking to her today. Although, you know, I don't know how important that is either. Uh, I would say. Um Oh shit, did I not eat that thing? Um, yeah, I would say, did I not eat the horseradish? Oh, I guess they just don't have as much energy as I thought. Or they don't replenish as much as I thought they were going to. Oh well. Um, yeah, I want to get, I think we can only get into Haley's house until 8. And then she's in bed too pretty quick, so let's, let's bolt down there. Usain style, which means very fast. Or, well, as fast as my feet can take me, which is pretty slow without coffee and any other kind of buffs. Okay, she's still in the kitchen. We're good. She likes to stand and stare at the kitchen stuff. Nice makeup, or wait, are you even wearing any? I don't know. Is it stupider that you thought I was wearing makeup, or is it stupider that I'm not wearing makeup? I don't know. Either way, we checked off checked off our talking to Haley quota. Let's check trash cans. Let's check Gus. Maybe let's go to the beach before 5 p.m. We'll, okay, so we'll save... I'm gonna save the beach maybe for tomorrow. Since it's gonna be a rainy day, there should be a lot more to collect down there. Check Gus's stock here. What's up, everybody? Carp surprise. You bastard. Give me some pink cake. Give me a give me a fruit salad, man. Know your know your customer base. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure somebody in the town likes Carp Surprise, but it ain't me. Nice rusty spoon. Can I go... think I got time to drop this at... 
That's a uh, that's a library. Oh, 6 p.m. That doesn't open till eight. Doofus, doofus and a half. Uh, let's go up to the mountain. Maybe. Or at least let's go walk up past the community center. That's not a bad idea. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a Haley quest, dude. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me, dude. I'm not even gonna have time for that. No. Am I gonna have the time? It's the second. When will my parsnips be ready? Oh no. I'm gonna accept it, but that's gonna be a big bummer. Also, how the hell did I get into Peter's shop? I thought he maybe he closes it, maybe you can't get in here at nine or something. Uh, very disappointing that she asked for a parsnip. It's kind of bullshit they're allowed to ask for shit that you, you have to grow that, that quick. Because there's no, I don't, I don't think I could, I could get that done. I don't think that's possible. Does she get bummed if I accept the quest and I don't complete it? That's a good question. Oh no. Let's go crack rocks until we go to bed to vent our frustration. Although I see a daffodil right here. Let's shake these guys up. These are the seeds that are least likely to drop dandelion up here too, trying to hide from me. Silver at that. Okay. Okay. I'll give it to you. Um, we do not need soggy newspapers. Uh, probably going to end up selling a boatload of fiber at some point. Um, we'll go bring that to our boy at some point as well. Here's the other thing about da uh, the daffodils. Um, I can buy those at Pierre's, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Pierre just sells them. Maybe we'll check on that tomorrow. So it's like the foraging aspect, going around collecting them for for, from uh, from the floor, foraging. Um, it's like maybe a waste of time. It might be a waste of time. I don't know. I mean, not really, because at least uh, uh, ooh, another geode. Hell yeah, dude! I'm gonna spend some money cracking open geodes. Um, I do want to use all my energy before the end of the day. I was going to go up to the mountain pass and check for forageables, but let's actually... Let's try to crack as much of this stuff as we can before midnight. Oh, I don't have anything. One, two, and three... Maybe I got 20 minutes to get up to the mountain pass and check us up. What's up there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just take a peek. Take a peek. Maybe there'll be... Well, I don't want to hit anything. Ooh, yeah. See, leak, dude. Okay, we grabbed that leak. That's good enough. Let's get out of here. I think leaks are what I would ideally be finding if it's not... A daffodil. Oh shit! Are we gonna make it in, in the bed by midnight? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Um, no, yeah, we definitely would want. You definitely want the leaks. Those are the highest energy replenishment. Get into fucking bed before midnight. Okay. Double check the list. That we talked to Haley. We checked the trash cans. We checked Gus's stock. No gifting today. We got a gift on Friday. I think we're good. Let's just go to bed. Nice. 
Um, also, planting wild seeds is like something I've been meaning to maybe like focus on at one point. Planting a shitload of wild seeds as opposed to saving them for um, uh, or selling them or whatever. I forget what I did for the most part. I think I was selling a lot of them. Good humor spirits, rainy day. What did it say about the weather? Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Beautiful. No, I'm not going to spend a thousand gold. Oh, sh shit. I can't even build a scare. That's also some bullshit, dude. You can't even build a freaking scarecrow so things can just come pick your shit. That's bullshit. Bullshit, man. In my opinion. Um, did I get money for that? Haley, yeah, I, there, yeah, you couldn't, I could not have done this. That would have been, a, unless I could have gotten for, uh, speed grow from, from, uh, Pierre. I don't think you can, though. Can you get speed grow from Pierre? Right away? Is that, is that, I don't think that's possible. Whatever. Whatever. Copper bar. Um, I guess let's just crack rocks on our farm for now. This is a good way to spend the morning. Queering shit. Um, oh, we should also be shaking the trees as we pass. Very important. For field snackage. Field snackageables. And then I should... Now I can dig these up, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. There's also a lot of each type of tree on the farm right away, which is very useful, because you do want kind of an even amount of each type of tree uh, give you the most uh, the most amount of field snacks that you can make or the most even amount of the materials to make the field snacks at least at least that's how my, that's how i like to do it that's how i like to do it see does it does it upgrade my pickaxe skill to dig those up with a pickaxe there's a good question or is it worse because I'm using more energy? No, I should be using the least amount of energy with my pickaxe now because I'm upgrading the foraging skill, right? So that would make it would make the most sense to dig stuff up with the pickaxe. Um, Haley should be inside. Although is she not gonna get out of bed? I think she doesn't get out of bed. Deviations. Um, no, she should be. She should be in the kitchen at noon. Okay. Let's go check our... We gotta keep checking up on the, um, the rock propagation up there on our our area to, to, uh, to mine, our mining plot, a plot of mining land. Did I check that yesterday? I don't think I checked that yesterday, huh? Oh, well. should clear this every day that should be actually a daily a daily task or it would be smart uh, because again the more uh, the more areas that are clear the more likely we can have another uh, 
rock spawn on that area, right? Or at least that's my concept. Another thing I've been trying to figure out is if I don't want to do this while the game's unpaused, but um, there's these little areas that you've dug up from the artifact spots. I'm not sure if those spots will not uh, spawn another item on top of them until that little impression goes away. It's something I've been meaning to check as well. I could have a notepad and write notes, or I could utilize the computer sitting in front of me to search these things. I'm not going to do that right now, though. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm just not. Um, I will probably at some point do that. I feel like every time, every time I have a question, I completely forget what I asked about until the next play sesh, and then it's like uh, it's a vicious cycle. Cone. Uh, drop some of this crap. So many field snacks we can make. We can also create one more of those. Uh, I want to sell that one. It's actually weight on. Yeah, we can sell that. Let's sell that. Or no, you know what? I need that for. I'm gonna keep that for energy. What am I talking about? Great one field snack. Wow. Wow. Copper and coal. Oof. If we get a shitload of that, we can be cherry bombs. But I think making these copper bars is a good idea. Um, okay, let's go talk to Haley before we lose our opportunity. Did I clear my inventory? Yes. Yeah, she should be available until 4 p.m., but I also have found some interesting um, interesting failures of the characters to do what they're supposed to do on their scheduled date and time. Uh, and it wouldn't be surprising if She was just sticking in her bedroom. Like, I forget what... I forget. I swear there was a day when she was like, I'm not getting out of bed. It's raining. What's up, Haley? The only thing I like about this town is the beach. Well, you know what? I'm learning more about you. Uh, and again, we don't need to gift her today. It is a wedding day. We're going to gift her... Uh, on oh let's go get the fishing pole check the beach for forageables I don't need this I'm not going to do the first fishing game right now perhaps I'll do that back at the farm at some point plenty of foraging to be had here uh, we should save up the money or the wood to come check the beach uh, tide pools at some point. Not going to worry about it right now, though. Yeah, on a foraging heavy playthrough, that is an area where I would have already been able to reach at this point, I think. I think we did that like the first day or the second day or something on one of the last playthroughs. Or at least very quickly. It was very quick. What's up, Clint? Not gonna see you right now. I have nothing for you. Ooh, Daffy, the gold. See, it'd be ooh, nice, dude. Any food items out of the trash cans, very useful. One of the reasons why we, we check them every day, um, but even more useful is the fact that we could possibly, I think. At least out of Gus's trash can. 
we should be able to get the food items. Oh, also, didn't I say... Did Pierre already fucking close? Oh, she always closed on Wednesdays. Um, yeah, Alex is going to see me dig to the trash. I don't care. Stop that yuck. He's already... He's like... No one cares about him. Yes, I'm the new girl. I am Zoe de Chanel. Very famous. I moved to your town to get away. A little frustrating that you're recognizing me here. Uh, oh, fuck. I got a little excited for a second when I saw that cake. I got a little excited. Oh, that's such a bummer, you fucker. Uh, I wiped that smile off your face, Gus. I'm angry at you. Oh, God. It's so... Uh, it is just so rare to get that gift for Haley in there. Oh. Okay, what are we doing? Let's check this. Ooh, although, wait. Can we... No, we can't do community center stuff yet. That's going to be important. I'm going to try to focus on doing a few of the community center things. Um, because if we can unlock... If we can get, which I kind of highly doubt, but if we can unlock the the bus and the ability to get to the um, the desert, that opens up a whole nother opportunity of getting coconuts um, for a loved gift, as opposed to waiting for them to pop up in one of the inventories. Uh, but. Yeah, well. Uh, we don't need... I'm gonna save the one muscle. Because I think, again, I, like, I, I think... I forget when the fish tank bundle opens up, but I wouldn't mind being able to accomplish... Because opening up the one bundle will, uh... Open up the other bundles. Um, okay. Did I finish... Did I finish... Clearing everything off of my land here in terms of rocks. That's that's what I really want to focus on. Clearing all these rocks. Upgrading our mining skill as much as possible. Pretty sure we cleared all the rocks from Cinder Sap, although we should go check for Spring Onion as well. Let's go do that. Do I need to go clear my inventory space? Eh, let's not even waste the time. That's going to take... That, that'd be like a 30-minute trek up and down to the top of the farm. Not worth it, in my opinion. Although I should also plant those mixed seeds that I just got. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Cinder Sap circuit time. Spring onion. Time. Oh, there's a rock. Uh, also wouldn't be a bad idea to pop a couple more chests down in a couple prime locations, i.e. in front of the... Um, the mine... Uh, entrance, I think, is a very smart spot to plop down a chest. That way, if we're on... If we, we clear a level and we're on, like, a level 5 or whatever, we can get back up to um, the top, unload stuff into our bin, and then we can retrieve it later. I think that's a smart... A smart idea. Smarty Pants Paul. Um, okay, before it gets too late, though, we check us in stock. We check the trash cans. No gifting today. Um, uh, talk to Haley. No cart. All right, because it's Fridays and Sundays, right? Fridays and Sundays, right? Am I not able to remember that always? For the cart? Let's chop down like maybe one of these trees over here. 
because I don't think there's anything. What else would I use my energy for? Well, I could use that. Well, it's not going to cost an energy. I think the fish, first fish that you catch is free, essentially. Um, I am going to need wood at some point. It doesn't hurt chopping those ones down. Although now I want to get back to the farm and use as much of this last bit of energy up uh, while we're very close to our bed. I also should try to figure out at what point um, breaking open all the geodes that we're going to be finding. What I don't know what point that's going to be the prime time because we have to keep we have to keep a certain amount of money on us so that at least like i think at least a thousand gold kept on our person at all times is smart um uh what's behind this tree is that a rock or is that a log Okay, starting to feel exhausted. I don't want to use what well, I can crack a couple more. I can crack a couple more. Oh, wait, we got to get to bed, though. Fuck it. I do not want to not be completely replenished. Although we also wanted to plant the mixed seeds. That's not that important. We do that tomorrow. That's not that important. Uh, fishing pole. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I'll keep that on me. Remind myself to do that. Um, okay. Pretty much completely, completely emptied our energy. Um, talk to Haley. No gift today. Check Gus. Check trash cans. We're good, man. We're good to go. We're good to go. Level two mining. Yeah, dude, we're leveling that shit up very fast. When do the mines open? That's a good thing to check, too. Hundred and sixty two? Okay. The mines fifth day. So tomorrow we'll have our first real mining day. Which will be great. Sunny day tomorrow. Displeased spirits. Spring onion. Yeah, duh. Who do you think I am? A guy who doesn't know to check for spring onion? Uh, keep finding cool stuff in my backpack. Yeah, one of these days I'll get that new backpack as well. Saving those copper bars for now. Come here, let's go do our fishing. I just want to get this out of the way now. Real quick. Ooh, is there another stone there? Why didn't I crack that stone up there? Do these stones keep coming back? Am I crazy? I mean, that's good. I want more stones. Oh, actually, I shouldn't crack them. I actually shouldn't be doing any of this. What am I doing? S again, saving these little things to do on the farm to use up that last bit of energy can be great. Oh, shit. This guy's, this guy's got some, uh, some vigor. Wish I got a perfection on that, but whatever. It's a sunfish. It's beautiful. So we gotta keep checking around the farm for any any stones that pop up without me noticing. Definitely gotta check um, the mountain rock area. Um, let's create another chest too. It's gonna drive me crazy not having this stuff a little more organized. Okay, let's put one chest on this side, and this is going to be tools and such. Let's do tools um, and foods. Uh, I'll probably eventually make multiple of these guys. Multiple... Um, whoops, we can use that. Although I'm going to save that sunfish 
for the off chance that somebody again on the billboard asks for it on the uh, bulletin board says that they want one uh Yeah, wait, wait, what am I doing? Putting these back. We gotta put these in here. We're gonna water our, our energy replenishment items that we're willing to use. Let's plant those. Maybe we'll get to Gunther today. Maybe, 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 maybe. So I wouldn't mind doing all that before the mines actually open, and then we're going to really want to focus on mining as much as possible. Um, although we're going to probably make multiple trips to Gunther's anyway. Uh, you do end up with some cauliflower seeds, but I probably wouldn't plant those anyway. I don't think, because I don't want to waste time. Wait, let's go drop these sheep. Up here. Drop these few. Uh, wait, also, what are you doing, doofus? Gotta plant these mixed seeds. Hopefully, those are gonna. Some of them will end up as more seasonal stuff that someone would ask for on the. Uh, on the bulletin board. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go check. Check the mountain mining spot right there. It's Wait, no, we don't want to crack that yet. Um, just kind of clear the way so I can get to this area a little quicker. Yeah, dude, so this stuff comes back pretty fast. I swear I remember, like, the first time I used this... Um, farm i felt like the the amount of of uh, mining spots was so limited that it was like why does it even why does it even make a difference having this particular type of farm um although again you could not mine there's no way to mine that much at the beginning of the game without the without the proper farm having been selected so also i'm thinking like shouldn't i Maybe I should break this stuff only so it can re uh, appear or hopefully give me a chance for it to reappear. I know I was saying don't break it, but also there's probably a healthy balance in there uh, between um, leaving some stuff for uh, killing as much energy as we can at the end of a day. Or um, saving or you know, getting rid of them as quick as possible so another one could pop up. Healthy balance in there. Um, let's go walk through Cinder Sap first, I guess. It's Thursday. It's a Thursday. <laughs> Okay, I don't really need to check for pine cones though. Because those are what we're gonna have the most of. It's gonna it's gonna be maple seed or acorns. And right now it's maple seeds. So give me maple seeds or give me yupping cake for Haley. And Gus's damn rotating stock. trash can I mean ideal would be finding a love gift because that won't cost me any money shadow okay nothing of note there unfortunately what's up Leia you're banging coming from my hut yep bye you're banging coming from my hut Boats are rocking, don't come and knock it, you know? That's how Leia rolls. Okay, trash cans. Is Haley gonna jump out at me right now? She's already up by the, uh, up 
by the fountain cheat sheet. Oh, we should have brought Gus, or I mean uh, Gunther, some stuff. That's not that important. Again, doing as many items as, as I can is the best thing to do first. Uh, so we're not wasting time walking to the bubble spot. That would be great if I was a fisherman. I don't want to back and forth to Gunther to deliver those things too many times. That's wasting real, real time. Ideally, we go and just drop him a few artifacts all at once. Definitely holding the pickup button while I walk around behind these things because forgeables can spawn behind areas that you can't see. out. I don't want to miss out on a daffodil. Gold daffodil. Not not on my watch. Okay. Give me another Haley quest. Willie. Big Willie style. Okay, wait. Here's what I wanted to check. Can you buy a parsnip from this fuck? Or can you buy like a straight up parsnip? No. And no daffodils for sale too. Do you have to, maybe if you, after you sell him a daffodil, you can buy another one? Or maybe you can buy the one you sold him back? Is that how it works? I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to buy it or I don't want to buy any of this shit. I don't want to buy any of this shit. Ah, the new farmer. Hi, Elliot. What's up, Lou? I didn't mention. First night? Dude, it's the fourth day. Asking me about my fourth night? Eons ago. Can you smell that? Some maki rolls. <sighs> Rhubarb pie, huh? Okay. If you keep this up, Gus, I am boycotting. And by boycott, I mean I'm coming back every day to check. Um, wait, did I check Granny's trash can? That's important. Check his trash can. I think so. Let me check Granny's. Granny's can't have cookies. I get a lot of cookies from Granny's trash can. Um, let's do a walk up through the mountain area. Checking for forgeables, of course. And then this is like, this has got to open at some point, right? I want to get those bundles taken care of. Bundle of love. Oh, it's Demetrius. It's a D. Local scientist and father. You must be very proud. Now shut up. Ooh, another bubble spot? Dude, why aren't I playing a fishing playthrough? Get that shit done, dude. Is that supposed to be Clint? It kind of looks like Clint, right? There's like a couple unnamed people in this game. What's up, Linus? If I was doing a fishing quest, I'd be very interested in, in pleasing him. Here's this little tree that becomes Leo's house. Spoilers! Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said anything. I just doxed Leo. Uh-oh. Dude, shit. A gold star horseradish? Fuck yes, dude. Might sell that. Anyway. But that's okay. Um, yeah, we have so much free time. Um, should I sell that gold one? It only gives you 10 more energy, but it'll sell decent. I'm 
You just want to make sure we're saving at least one of everything for the uh, uh, bundle. I want to get that bundle done. Can we make a field? We can make one field snack. Sell this parsnip, man. Or, I mean, horseradish, man. If it was parsnip, I wouldn't be selling it. Again, those are like the best for energy replenishment. Which, once we get to the mines, it will be a very important. Um, we check for spring onion, right? Let's go. I guess we can go chop down some trees and cinder sap. I think would be the most useful. The most useful thing we're gonna want more wood we want we want wood to get that um uh to get that bridge repaired on the beach because that'll open up an opportunity for a little bit more um a little bit more foraging when we have nothing else to do we checked our rocks up there right yeah could also go crack no i can't crack geodes anymore it's too late um, let's go to like the bottom corner over here. Start chopping at the bottom corner and then stakes go on. We'll progress up here. Plus we're checking for, uh, obviously any forageables. Yeah, first we'll go, maybe we'll even go to the island. Cut everything down on the island and only, I think I'm only going to cut down, um, pine trees because again leaving up the other trees so we can check them for seeds every day might might be more beneficial to getting more of the uh, field snack materials I think Oof. let's just start let's start here 7 p.m. Um, yeah, we'll just use all our energy up because tomorrow, tomorrow is our first mining day. Uh, definitely got to get a good night's sleep. tree one more tree and then we'll go chop what we can on the farm although we could also go check the beach maybe i think we have time to get to the beach because we already checked for spring onion right we shook all these guys up <clears throat> again checklist would probably be useful Reminding myself what I have and have not done here. Do we want to go check the beach? Nah, let's not go check the beach. I'm going to go to the beach at some point anyway, and I'm pretty sure all of the forageables that are there will pretty much stay in place. Um, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get... A little bit less just because, um, you know, if you don't pick something up, then nothing can spawn in that spot, right? So, ah, we'll see. Well, we'll see. Um, also, what is Haley's, like, what's the earliest I can see her? 10 a.m. is the earliest I can see Haley. There's a bit of a issue um, in terms of, yeah, let's just go to bed. I broke all the rocks I could. Let's just go over our checklist. We did talk to Haley. Oh, I'm such a doofus. Oh, I'm such a doofus. Why didn't we talk to Haley? What, what were you doing, Paul? Oh my gosh. Whatever. 
I think that's like a single relationship point. It's like really not, it's not that important. It's part of my quota, no doubt, but, uh, anyway, we fucked that up. Whatever, I'm not gonna replay the full day. That's fine. Um, but you know what? If we don't do this faster, now we know why. I fucked up the first, first week of talking to Haley every day. I think I might have missed a couple of my last playthrough as well. Again, I think it's a very, very, very small amount of relationship points. Although I could look that up as well. Um, okay, so we are all good. Um, well, not really, but kind of all good. Uh, we checked Gus's stock. We checked the trash cans. Didn't talk to Haley. A little bit of a bummer, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to replay the full day. Oh, well. And tomorrow we do have to give her our first gift. If I fuck up tomorrow not giving her a gift, that's going to be a problem. Um, a little bit of gold from that horseradish. Never hurt anybody, I don't think. You know. Okay. Oh. Okay, Friday, so that's a cart day. Very happy spirits, that's great. Oof, there's our parsnips. Let's just go get more water in the watering can now. I'm going to pick all those parsnips and we're going to be fine. Gimme, gimme, gimme this. Yeah, a lot more maple seeds for more. Field snacks. That is our field snack bottleneck at the moment. Okay. So I will save at least save like three of those parsnips for now. Um, as we saw, could be requested for one before I could even possibly get one, so now that I have one, I probably will not be asked for one, but that's fine. Eh. Eh. Things I gotta deal with on a daily basis. Um, all these other ones we can sell. Topaz. Dude, how did I not talk to Haley yesterday? What am I doing? Um, okay, so. Now it's locked in place. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you, John. Thank you. Oh, God, Carol. I'm going to do this even better this time. Uh, I don't need the scythe at the mines. I do need the pickaxe. the hoe? Do I need the axe? Not really. Artifact spots that I see on the way we can go back for. Although I shouldn't go to the mines quite yet, huh? Um, that's fine. Let's do a cinder sap circuit. Cinder sap circuit. Then we'll go talk to Haley. I do have to wait. I cannot go to the mines... Uh, or we could go to the mines first. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how this works. Uh, in terms of workflow, um, 
I just don't know what's going to be the good timeline on doing this. Because we have to talk to Haley at 10. We have to check Gus's stock at some point after afternoon. And I should check it. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go check Cart Lady, too. What am I doing down here? Um, and I need to gift Haley. So I think today, at least, it's going to be better to try to get all the stuff done in town. Gift Haley. Um, and then go to the mines. I think that's the I think that's the correct workflow. But again, we will see for today. Other days, it might be better to go to the mines first thing, use up all our energy and stuff, and then leave and do all the stuff in town. The only thing that's really time sensitive is talking to Haley because she has um, a limit on when she can be spoken with. Um, okay, give me something good at this cart. Give me a give me a loved gift, dude. We really need a loved gift. That's the biggest boost that we could hope for in the beginning of the game. Oh, fuck. Nothing. Nothing. Bummer. I'll buy a houseplant for 2,500 gold. That's useful. Um, why do I think it's so expensive? Because it's capitalism. There's. Uh, okay, well, we can go talk to Haley. Well, no, it's not even going to talk to Haley yet. We shouldn't talk to Haley until we have the gift for her. So let's go. We'll do trash can checking. We'll putz around in town. Trash can checking. When does she leave? She should be leaving her house in like a minute. Oh wait, no. She leaves her house at 12.30 on Fridays. 12.20. Oh, I got a Coke too, that's great. Uh, it will check, check trash cans. Then go to Gus. Check Gus. Um. Then we will go back to our place. I should have brought Haley's gift with me. Nah, I wouldn't. We probably would have went back and forth anyway. Let me go check up by the community center for any... Oh, actually, we'll do that. We'll just go up there. Ooh. I don't care if you see me. There's definitely a gold one. Oh. Oh. A gold daffodil would be the best alternative to any of the uh, loved gifts that we could possibly receive. Oh, perfect timing on checking. Oh, cheese cauliflower you damn no pink cake again you son of a bitch have I talked to Gus yet business is booming eh oh, that's good um, so I have nothing better than a regular quality daffodil so that's what Haley is going to get today even if I had gotten a loved gift, actually, I probably wouldn't have given it to her anyway because I would be saving whatever the highest quality giftable I have. I'm going to save that for her birthday, which is not today. Haley's ignoring me. I gave, I just gave you a gift. Whatever. 
Did I check that bulletin board? Let's go check that bulletin board. Let's do it. And then we can finally get into those mines. Ah, oh, shit. See, there's an artifact spot, but I can't grab it right now. Because I don't got my hoe. There we go. Dude, that's going to be another maple seed. Means another... Uh, another field snack. Very good. Oh... I should actually save both these dandelions for food stuffs as well. Build one more field snack because we're going to take those with us to the mine. Pop those in there. Trash. Why do I save trash? I just do. Oh shit. I can, dude, I got two? I did not realize I got two seeds. I'm gonna save this cola until I get multiple because again, someone might ask for one of those on the bulletin board. And it's good to just have it at the ready. Let's grab these field snacks. Those will be our standard uh, food slash health replenishment for now in the mines. Uh, yeah, let's just go. We're gonna go get our sword, okay? Get our sword, and then we're gonna get um, get our mining on. I'm a miner photographer. I guess I'll talk to Linus. Why not? Hi, Linus. Please don't destroy my tent. I won't. They have not added that functionality into the game. Destruction of your shit. Okay. I'd be interested to see money-wise how much if I make more money doing this. Just give me the sword. Just give me the sword. Um. Oh, whoops. No shit. Gotta get the five first, mother... Mother truck. Oh, nice, dude. Um, should be able to do some real damage today because it's a lucky day. Oh, look, there's already one. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, shit, dude. I might be able to get that, get that topaz to Willie, dude. Maybe. Um, I know I can just go down, but. This is a great, we, I always gotta check these boxes because this is really good shit. Dude. You just get, oh, a boss, dude. Okay, these guys always drop an item. Holy shit, I'm glad I found one. So he'll give me some kind of upgrade, whether it's a ring or a foot item or a, uh, another weapon. Dude, rubber boots. Hell yeah. It's actually probably the least useful, but that's fine. Um, I just want to get as far down as possible in the mines right now. I think that's the best. Rather than kill, focus on digging as much as possible and killing. Also, I should focus on getting as much copper as possible since, again, one of the big reasons I want to try a mining session is because this should uh, make us the most amount of money. But that's what I was saying. Like, I'd be curious to see how much difference there is in the money that I'm making at the beginning of each week in each playthrough. Yeah, you can see my freaking... Storage is already running out. I'm gonna get that backpack like ASAP. 
I'm avoiding these gray rocks for the most part because they take two hits to strike or two strikes to break. Um, and I want to conserve as much energy and I don't think they add any increase or uh, every time you break a rock, I don't think it matters what kind of rock you get a certain amount of experience, mining experience. Um, and uh, I don't think it matters how strong the rock is. I think it's just you break a rock, you get some X. So breaking more rocks should give you the most amount of EXP. How much did he want for that topaz? 240 gold? Is Willie even going to be at the bar? The only way I'm going to be able to do that is if he's at the bar. And the only reason I'm thinking about this is... Um, uh, trying to decide when I want to leave the mines today. And his schedule... Um, what's today? Friday, so maybe he'll be somewhere special. He's at the saloon till 11 p.m. So I'd like to do as much mining as I can today. Before that, it's not really a big deal if I don't do that. So whatever. It's just I think you get like a little bit of extra gold, uh for the item that you're giving them as opposed to, oh shit, okay, let's use one of these cher this cherry bomb that we got. Make some space, I wanna be able to take this coal. Also, maybe we'll eat this algae now. Does bug me? Can make bug me into something it's uh, eventually but right now it's regular loot okay let's get this other topaz dude then we'll get two of them also, combat is not the worst thing to upgrade oops try to intercept. Nah, you know what? Fuck Willy. As great as that would be getting maybe a little bit more cash right now. Oh shit, infested area though. I don't know if we'll be able to do this right now. Um, because I don't think I have time to get this infested area done. Is there a boss here, though, that I'd want to kill? No, I could do this. What are you talking about, Paul? Well... Dude, what time is it going to take me all to get home, though? Fuck. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's leave the mine. Uh, if we can get to Willie and give him that topaz, that's kind of a good thing. I was hoping to make it down to level 10 in the mines. That was the only thing I was really hoping for. Um, but I would have been bummed if I didn't do it. Because then that means I would have wasted the opportunity to uh, hand Willie. I should have talked to Sebastian. What am I doing? Um... Yeah, no, this isn't... I think this is the right way to go about this. What's up, Clint? Oh, wait, it's not Clint. It's Pierre! What's up, Pierre? Willie! What's up, boy? Okay, Willie, just make sure I'm not being an idiot. Willie wants a topaz. I have a topaz. <laughs> Thanks, Leibovitz. Here's a little something for your travel. Ahoy there! 
It's nice to see you, f- you young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Well, that's nice. Um, and I did check Gus, right? Yeah, she's Kali. Bone in me. Suck, man. Um, yeah, let's go back home and I'll chop a tree down with my last bit of energy or something. If I got time. Actually, I don't even think I have time for that. Maybe that's... Oh, although, yeah, no. There's also this artifact spot right there that I need to dig up at some point. Maybe we do that tomorrow. Okay, and then what can we sell? I want to give Gunther one of the that, that one topaz. I'm going to save the bug meat because eventually you can craft another edible item with it. I'm not sure if you have to cook it, though. It might be craftable. It might be a cookable. Not a 100% piece of that sure. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Tip of that one. Um, wrong box. Nice. Okay. Getting in bed before midnight. Okay, let's go over the checklist. We did need to give Haley a gift today. We accomplished that. We talked to Haley today. We accomplished that. I'm pretty sure we checked the trash cans. Um, again, I should have a little should have a little checklist. I'm going to work on that. Work on the checklist. Um, we checked the cart. We checked Gus. No no, no dice on either of those. Um, I think we're good, dude. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Level one farming. Bueno. Oof, a lot of money today. A lot of cash. Oh. I think I'm going to do, we'll do one more day. <laughs> Deeper into the mine. Reach level 40. Woo! I'll get there. 240 for that topaz. Not bad. Let's craft that scarecrow, which has, which has now been given to me. 10 slimes. We'll get that done at some point. What do you need for a scarecrow? You need like fiber, wood, and coal? Maybe some stone? Do you need stone? That's fiber, wood, and coal. Net us a little bit more stuff. Also, let's start smelting all our copper up. Although, I don't know if it's a better idea. Nah, it's, I was gonna say, well. Probably a certain um, probably a certain balance between crafting copper bars and selling them for cash versus using that copper to craft cherry bombs. The copper and coal for cherry bombs, because that that can make getting through the mines very fast, and using the bombs increases your mining proficiency the same way it does the pickaxe, but you don't have to use your energy for the cherry bombs. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't be crafting too much, too many copper bars. Again, I'm crafting them to sell them to make money. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, what is it? Three to one for these? Four to one? There should be like a profession that decreases the crafting materials for bombs. That'd be cool. That'd be the bomb. That would just probably be the bomb. Uh, let's sell those parsnips. Although, yeah, we can sell parsnips. Um, there's got there's also a good balance between uh, wrong actually you know what nah, nah. Uh, 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 get this artifact spot really quick okay you 
useless. Um, those books were useful the first time I played. Otherwise, other than that, though, give me some artifacts. back okay so like I said what, it, what what do we want our strategy to be in terms of time I can't talk to Haley for two hours I can't get into Gus's until noon uh, we can check the cart tomorrow oh shit and we need to gift Haley her second gift today as well we must and we do have plenty of daffodils um, oh yeah let's keep that on us actually because what we'll do is we'll go we'll go check my mining area on the farm we'll go check for spring onion And then we'll go into town, give Haley the second gift for the week. Oh, fuck, there's an artifact spot. There's two or three of them here. Fuck. I have to go all the way back up and get my hoe. I just feel like they increase the frequency that these populate. I could be wrong. But that's what it feels like to me. I swear the first time I played a mountain farm, it was like I cleared that whole area... And then it did like nothing repopulated for a very long time, or that's that's how I remember it. And so I would not be surprised if they increased the rate, the drop rate for those things coming back. Another artifact spot there. Damn, maybe I should just keep my hoe on me. I just run out of so much space so fast. Also, we can do any more field snacks? No. no now we need... Now we need... Um, acorns. Our bottleneck is acorns on those suckers. To grab all those artifact spots. I don't want to leave them. And forget... Maybe we shouldn't. Now that it's 10 already, maybe we don't need to go to Cinder Sap. I think that might be a waste. A little bit of a waste of time. Only reason we're getting those spring onion is for the energy replenishment. And I forget about that bug. You can make like bug meat steak once you level your, uh, I think, combat level. So at a certain point, that will be what we're going to utilize as our energy replenishment, main source of energy replenishment. Um, yeah, okay, so looking at the time, looking at time-wise, uh, I'm thinking it's actually, it's better to do all our daily shit in town first. And then go to the mine. Instead of, again, may maybe uh, mining first for a while, dealing with stuff in the in the town, and then going back. That sounds like, that sounds ridiculous, right? Um, wasn't there another, oh, where's another artifact spot that I missed? I only got all of them that, I, that I've seen with my own two eyes. Uh, okay, so how do we want to do it? How do we want to do this? Uh, give, yeah, I guess we'll keep that daffodil on us. I have basically everything off of me to go to the mine so we can go uh, straight from town if we want. Whoops. Check out my off and thorn. Oh shit, okay, this is good. Also would love to do that. There's Haley. 
Uh, before I gift her, though, we are going to check. I'm having an urge to go shopping. Yay! Amazon, bro, just, just order it on your phone or whatever. A, a sardine for a pizza. I'll accept it. Not gonna do it. Wait, what time is, is it? 12:30 that he gets there? I guess I'll come back around. There's another daffodil. Hopefully, that'll be a higher quality than the base standard. I'll get that on the way around. God, do the circuit. We also should go down to the beach at some point, maybe. When we have the time. Again, basically now anything anything is a waste. Other than checking these trash cans, which could could hold the key in finding uh, a loved gift for Haley. Ooh, an acorn? I needed one of those for another field stack. Thank you. Redeemed. Thank you. With an acorn. Um, where was that daffodil? It's down by... Yeah, right here. Oh. Give me a gold one, dude. Ah. So that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I worked so hard. We worked so hard on getting our forging skill up, and then uh, I don't get, I won't get any higher quality daffodils. So it's like, what's the point? Trout soup, you fuck. That's fine. Okay, so no loved gifts in the first week for Haley. That's unfortunate, but it's true. Um, and I think I do want to actually roll back to my house really quick before we go to the mountain. Here, I'll do one pass over this area for another chance at a daffodil. Not looking good, though. Nothing but base level gifts, base level liked gifts this week. Kind of disappointing. But that's fine. Again, I, I, if you get one, if you get one good chance at loved gifts, which you can get, like you had seen, did I already speak with Haley? Yeah, I did. She had an urge to go shopping. That's right. Okay, so we got her both gifts and a spoken to. Gave her a talking to. We check. We didn't check down by the trash cans at her house, though. Let's go down there first. So, I don't think I met ya. I don't think I've met ya. I'm cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste the hour or whatever it's gonna take to go check for spring onion. Cause that time it's like. I can be mining, man. I'm just gonna do this quick little run through here just in case there's any other forageables. Quick forageables. Okay, so we'll get home. We'll dump all our shit in our crate. Uh, we're gonna make that last field snack that we can craft. And we're gonna go to the mines and mine the shit out of that place for the rest of the day. What was the luck today? Do you remember? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. We have two of these. Okay. We need one of those. Yeah. I'm going to be real frustrated until I get that next backpack, which maybe I'll do sooner than later. I don't know. I'm going to see how, like, how I feel about the money that I'm making. No, I don't want this acorn, so let's just plant it. So we don't have to walk back anywhere. Um, ooh, a stone. I'm, it's fine. Oh, wait. Let's also do this really quick. I'd like to do... If I have the wood, this is a waste of time. I know I waste like 10 minutes right there. Bummer. Um, oh, I don't have enough. Um, I wanted to build a box... I need 50 though. I guess I could chop down one tree real quick. Ugh, this might be a waste. We'll see. We shall see. Um, 
I'm just curious to see if I'm going to utilize this box as much as I think I'm going to. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, wait, why am I putting the wood? Oh, wait, no, I need the wood on me to craft the box. The chest. It's a bin. May, in fact, uh, be a vessel. You know? Okay. Uh, at this point, I don't want to find foraging stuff. Unless it's something I can eat. Like, if I found a daffodil, it'd be real annoying. Oh, shit. That's right. We want to do that, too. Um, well, not today. That's not really all that time sensitive, I don't think. What's up, dudes? Oh, shit, dude. Abigail's jamming. Also, we could... Just check over here for any forageables. Really bad idea, but whatever. Wasting time. Another bubble spot over there. In front of the island. Okay, so I'm going to pop this chest down right outside the elevator. So what we can do, if we need to, is we can jump right back up here. Drop some shit. I actually don't like that placement just because it's going to make it hard to uh, touch the elevator quickly. Um, or get to the elevator. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just do this. I don't know if I should focus on combat. I do know that if you beat, if you defeat all the enemies, not only do they have a chance to drop a staircase, uh... But then you also uh, have a higher likelihood of finding a staircase if all the enemies are gone on a level. Looks like that worked out for us. So if time wasn't a factor, um, I'd definitely always be taking out all of the enemies first. Give me that crab, dude. Use you for a crab pot bundle, probably. Bud. Just like, combat takes so long until you get those new weapons. Staircase just ready to go. Maybe we can do this, dude. Ooh, it's like a supply room. Call those areas. Okay, let's find maybe a spot to use this guy. It's heavy, like densely populated, like right here. A couple pieces of copper in there. Or at least one. Okay, sweet, dude. We made it down to the next level means we can jump back down here tomorrow Oof, yeah baby um what am i gonna be able to do here here's what we gotta do 
I'm not gonna have a spot for this, so I'm gonna do boom. Take this algae, just drop it, put these boots on. Drop these boots. Eat the algae. Oh, grab the boots. Go down one more floor just for safe measure. Oh, shit, dude. You gotta get home, bro. I could have left the boots in that chest too, because we're gonna we're gonna come back up to sell those at the at the guild at some point not right now again wait till you have like a good amount of the items that you're going to turn in uh before um before you actually make that trek same thing like we we're talking about with the um Okay, as long as I get into bed at 12, I think you're fine. I know I'm not using all my energy, but that's fine. Okay, so socially speaking, how did we do today? Great, because we talked to Haley. And this week, we've gifted her twice. That was all we really needed to do there. Um, no loved gift this week, but that's fine. Really, really looking to get her... Um, a loved gift for her birthday. That is probably the most important thing. Okay. Um, so I'm not that worried that we didn't get one in the first week. Although, to make it the best possible playthrough, we would need a loved gift for every single gift. And the... I, I don't want to know what the chances... I mean... How would that be possible? I would have to have a shitload of... No, well, let's see. I would have had to just have bought, bought two loved gifts this week. That's all it would have had to have been. Um, anyway, that's fine. That's just, okay, we talked to Hey, We gifted her twice. Gifting her twice this week was the most important thing, and we accomplished that this week. Um, talking to her. We missed one. Bummer, but whatever. Uh... We checked the cart yesterday, checked Gus's on both days. We're good, dude. I think we are good. Uh, I'm just going to cheat, and then I'm going to do a run down to the cart. Oh, I'm not going to play this next day, but I'm going to run down to the cart and just check ahead of time to see if we are going to get a love. Or maybe I should leave that. No, I won't do that. Let's leave that for next. Let's leave that for next time. That's a fun surprise. Um, but anyway, I think that was a pretty good kickoff, I would personally say. Um, so yeah, let's wrap here, exit there. Whew. 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 It is really hot in here. Um, yeah, I think that was a good first kickoff to the, to the third session. Uh, we did, we only fucked up like one major thing, which really isn't that major. Just not speaking with Haley, um, on that one day. I honestly don't think that's that big of a deal. Thank well. you, Gary. Thank you, my friend. Um, but a, a good, a good start, uh, to this run. Uh, and it's gonna, again, going to be very interesting to see how it differentiates from, uh, those foraging foraging heavy playthroughs that we did because we're again focusing on thank you um foraging heavy as a, uh, we're going to be doing the mining heavy on this on this run on this session um so i'm very interested to see how that's going to work out if it's going to be better or worse i do not know I'm, I'm 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 guessing that it's actually worse but we'll see geez i get late and get banned oh yeah banned dude come on uh very interested to see it but I, like i said i thought the last playthrough we were going to like beat their top score of like crazy and then we didn't so um who knows um either way uh like i was saying we've got some pretty other wait socials why didn't that work what did i do wrong so what did i just do wrong socials social which is social 
Sorry, G Man. So socials. What am I doing? Am I being a fool? Either way, if you want to watch previous uh, installments of the How to Marry a Photographer series, we have two full playthroughs up, um, ready to ready for your binging pleasure on YouTube's. Um, so check out the YouTube uh, for all previous streams, as well as again what we're working on whenever we do these, which is the full fledged. Oh, thank you, socials. Why wasn't mine? Am I being a doofus? So, shields. What was I doing wrong? Sock. IALs. I don't know what the hell. Get the S at the end. But I did the first time. So I'm saying I did so shoals the first time. Then I tried so shoal. I bet I just am not reading that properly. It's it, 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 The text is so small. I do need to get my... Um, chat monitor uh figure it out and get that sped up why am i also why aren't you focusing on me cammy have i been out of focus this whole time no um either way get that s in there check out the youtube for any previous uh installments of how to marry a photographer because we have those two full sessions up ready to go um i uh, yeah, whatever. It's so hard to read on the... Oh, okay. Whatever. Either way, I fucked it up, man. What do you expect? Um, check out the YouTube for any previous installments. Plus, the videos we'll really work on, which is going to be the Stardew Valley, or uh, photography in Stardew Valley uh, video, which will be up at some point, I promise. Uh, and then check out those other social medias for other stuff. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm going to stop trying to go through each one individually. I think that's kind of silly. Um, and if you want a great community to share your photographic exploits, adventures, and imagery, uh, check out our Discord. We have a pretty great group of people on there. Great space for you to share your in-game photography, which is what we do a lot here on the stream. Um, or your real-life photography. We have, we have places there and people that will appreciate it. Um, yeah, I know. Gary is, uh, very, you, you probably a higher level than I am on that discord, man. For all I know, I got to look into that. Um, either way, hope everybody enjoys the rest of their night. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. So we're going to be doing Triforce Thursday here in the dark room, which means photography in Zelda breath of the wild. We're going to be adventuring more along those beach coastal areas of the game, photographing some summer centric type stuff. Um, so hope everybody can make it to that again, 7 30 PM, uh, PT here in the dark room. Um, otherwise enjoy the rest of your night, please. Thank you all for coming. Uh, don't lose your dinosaur as always. Wait, have you heard slash seen there's a game play of the game stray? Wait, quick. Wait, have you heard slash seen the game play of the game stray? No. Oh, I'll check it out. Did we talk? Did somebody talk about that at some point? Um, we'll figure it out. I'll steam that game. I can steam it right up for you, man. Steam it up like brockles. Um, no, but I'll check it out. I'll check it out. There's uh, any suggestions on games to play? Obviously, post those on the Discord. And we did find uh, Dr. Paxmore uh, did find a great list of games that have in-game camera items. It's like an, an, an incredible resource. So I'm curious if that's on there. Um, I'm not going to watch it right now because I'm wrapping up, but uh, at some point I will check it out or when I get off the, the stream, I will. Um, appreciate the suggestion. Uh, as always, take care, take pictures, and don't lose your dinosaur. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. Goodbye all. Thank you all. See everybody tomorrow uh, for Triforce Thursdays, elders. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, wait, let me snack you. Snack you. Boom. Yeah. 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 Take photos, bear.